In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up the auto peel feature of your ArcScan label printer. Before continuing watching this video, verify if your printer model is auto peel compatible. If the printer's model number ends with the letter P, then it has the auto peel feature. Second, make sure that you are able to print your label without the auto peel feature. If you haven't done that, Please see the video link in the description for more information. To help ensure easy operation, make sure you choose a label that supports auto peel. You don't need an auto peel compatible label to print on this printer if you do not plan on using the auto peel feature. This video will also show you how to enable the label sensor on Windows and Mac so that the printed label has to be removed before the next label can be printed. It's important that the label has been calibrated before you start loading the label for auto peel. Let's do a quick review on how to perform the calibration. First, make sure to stick about half an inch of label outside of the printer. To run the calibration, press and hold on the top button for about two seconds, and then let go of the button immediately when the printer beeps once or flashes red. If your label is compatible with the printer and calibration was done correctly, the printer should push out two blank labels and the perforated line should line up with the printer's edge. This is how we know the label is successfully calibrated with the printer. Now let's set up the auto peel. Open up the printer cover by pulling forward on the gray side levers. First, make sure the labels are centered within the printer. If you are using a roll, use the markings on the rod to create an equal distance on each side. Make sure the sliders are also centered using the markings and are not squeezing too tightly on the paper. And check that there are no wrinkles forming. If there are, smooth out the paper. This is most likely caused by the sliders being too tight. Now, let's carefully roll back the labels onto the roll. Pressing down in the middle can help guide the labels onto the roll and also prevent wrinkles. Pull forward on these two tabs to access the splicer. Start peeling back the first label. Get it about halfway peeled off and with your other hand, feed the label backing down and into the slot, pulling through any excess. Push firmly on the splicer door to close it. Feel and listen for the solid click. Let go of the label so that it falls loosely over the edge of the printer. Close the lid, push down, and feel and listen for a solid click. If the light on top of the printer is solid red, the lid did not close all the way. Give it another push downward until you hear one more click and the light will turn blue. Push the feed button once to push out a single blank label and verify that the label and backing are separated. Let's open the printer cover one more time and make sure the label is laid evenly across the printer. You can use the printer's edge as a reference point. Keeping the label even will help ensure proper operation. If you need to remove excessive backing paper, please be sure to leave at least a few inches overhanging. If you rip off the backing flush with the printer, it can cause a paper jam. This completes all of the steps for setting up the auto peel function of your ArcScan label printer. To learn more information on how to set up the driver, please see the video link in the description. Now, we need to enable the label sensor so that if you are printing more than one label at a time, the printer knows not to print the next label until the previous label has been removed from the printer. To enable the sensor for Windows, in the search box or magnifying glass, start typing the word printer and printers and scanners will appear. Find your ArcScan Auto Peel printer in the list. I named mine 2054K Auto Peel. Click on Manage, Printing Preferences, Stock tab, 
Next to the post print action, choose peel off from the drop down menu. Click apply, now okay. Let's test this feature by printing a four by six sample shipping label. In your web browser, go to arcscan.com sample. There are different ways to print depending on which web browser you are using. In Chrome, you can click on the printer icon in the top right and verify ArcScan is selected as the printer. If you don't see the printer listed here, please follow the Windows printer driver setup video to install the print driver. To demonstrate the auto peel sensor, I'm going to print two copies, but you can leave this as one. Make sure the paper size is four by six and also that the scaling is either fit the printable area or adjust scale percentage to fit. Usually it's 100%, and this depends which web browser you are using. Click on print. With peel off selected in the driver, you will see that the printer light blinks blue after each label, and the next label won't print until the previous one is removed. To enable this setting on a Mac, we need to open a web browser to modify these changes. Let's print a sample 4x6 shipping label. In your web browser, go to arcscan.com sample. There are different ways to print depending on which web browser you are using. In Chrome, you can click on the printer icon in the top right and click on the print using system dialog button. If you are using Safari, you will be taken to this screen by default and will not have to follow the previous two steps. Verify that your ArcScan auto peel printer is selected. If you don't see that the printer is listed here, please follow the Max Printer Driver setup video to install the print driver. To save these settings, let's choose Last Used Settings as the preset. To demonstrate the auto peel sensor, I'm going to print two copies. Verify the paper size is 4x6. Click on this drop down menu and select Printer Features. Next to Feature Sets, choose Media Setting. Next to Post Print Action, we need to choose Peel Off. Click Print to save these settings. With Peel Off selected in the driver, you will see that the printer light blinks blue after each label and the next label won't print until the previous one is removed. <laughs>